Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pauline and this is The Modern Homemaker. I have something very, very exciting today. It is a seed haul. Everything that I've purchased for my 2023 garden, um, all the varieties I will be attempting to grow is right here in this basket, minus one more order from Make It Creek that I'm waiting for. Um, this is my first time ordering from this company and I am a very, very pleasantly surprised with all the varieties they have to offer. Um, right after my first purchase, I immediately regretted not buying more seeds, so I placed a secondary order and that's what we're waiting for um, right now. So first up I have, I'm just going to move a little closer, from Baker Creek I have quite a few things. So this pink celery caught my eye. It is um, a Chinese pink variety, um, it's a bubble gum pink from China, and it, um, it's said to be extra easy to grow, perfect for a kid's garden, and very eye-catching for farmer's market. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, it is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to add it to my garden. This purple lady bok choy also caught my eye because it's purple. I love bok choy, I eat bok choy at least once a week and I can't wait to grow those. Kale is another thing that is a constant in my garden. I, there hasn't been a year that I haven't grown kale. This thousand head kale is massive. It's a mammoth sized culinary variety uh, with curly edges. And it says it's sourced from King's Seed of England. Um, and um, it is a very old heirloom variety, so I'm excited to try that. Now, moving on to tomatoes. These are mainly um, Instagram varieties. I see them everywhere, and I say Instagram variety um, very loosely. It's because I see them everywhere, and I'm jealous, and I needed them in my garden because they're just absolutely stunning. So Brad's Atomic Grape is one. Uh, Berry's Crazy Cherry, this variety I have heard the absolute best reviews on. Everybody that grows this variety says I have to grow it and now I will. Okay, I can't say this name, Sart Rolois. <laughs> um, don't come at me for the pronunciation. So this is absolutely stunning. It is um, a golden yellow at the bottom and then a beautiful purple on top. It almost reminds me of a stained glass. Yep, colored up stained glass and it's just absolutely beautiful. So now these two I've already grown before. Uh, Black Beauty, oh sorry, Orange Accordion and Black Beauty. I have purchased these seeds um, via Facebook Marketplace and one of the growers was selling them. So I got a chance to grow them last year in my garden and I loved them and I wanted my own seeds. So that's a repurchase. Now moving on to two um, flowers. I got this Calendula Pink Surprise. It is so beautiful. It is just a very easy, very beautiful uh, plant to grow. And yarrow. I was so, 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 so excited to see yarrow seeds um, in Baker Creek. I don't see yarrow seeds in many um, seed companies, so I was quite excited. I love growing yarrow. It, yarrow, if you don't know, is a perennial um, plant and it attracts so many bees and beneficial insects and it's so good for your garden. So, yeah, excited. Now, I did not know this. You get free seed packets um, on certain amount of orders. So like if you spend a certain amount, they give you free orders, uh, free seeds with your order. And um, I guess I qualified for two. This one is called um, Dattel Pepper. It is a hot variety. So I'm excited. I love hot peppers and a Merlot um, lettuce. It is a very, very dark red lettuce. And it's probably one of the darkest varieties I've seen. Oh yeah, um, reputed to be the darkest red variety in existence. Frilly leaf margins, crisp and wavy leaves. So, and they're best as baby greens or cut and come again harvest, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing with these. 
So that is Baker Creek, guys. Let's move on to West Coast Seeds. They are a Canadian company. Um, and as you can tell, I love this seed company. They are tried and true. Um, they have not disappointed me so far. I've been using them for the past four years. I am not affiliated with them by any means. Um, they're just a great seed company and I like purchasing from them. So the first two are new carrot varieties. I have a deep purple and a Yellowstone, which is a pale yellow variety. Now, I purchase them mainly for their color, um, and I just think they would be stunning in a, um, as a side dish for your dinner parties and things like that. The next, I have two varieties that um, I grew last year and they did so, so well, so I had to repurchase. Um, it's the Borleo and Neptune. Neptune variety is such a good long storage variety. And this, uh, the Borleo is just a very sweet, tender uh, garden variety. So I had to repurchase them. Next, we have onions. These two are um, a repurchase. So it's a red wing and white wing storage variety. This is your typical store-bought, large, pungent, um, onion variety. So if you're looking for um, a long storage cooking onion, these two are it. And then next I have another storage variety. It's the Boritana. Um, it is a heirloom Italian variety. Moving on, we have sweet onions. I have a Kelsey and Walla Walla. I've grown both Kelsey and Walla Walla before. The Kelsey did not get as large as I would have hoped, but it was mainly my fault. Um, I didn't give it nearly enough space. So this year I'm dedicating um, a whole area where I just grow these two very large sweet varieties. And last up for the onions is the Red Beard Scallions. I love the striking bottom the striking um, stock of these they're just so fun and i can't wait to see it in my garden the next two are perennials i have rhubarb and lavage lavage if you don't know it is um very similar to a celery so you can um it's got a very mild celery flavor it is a perennial, um, so it will keep coming back every year, just like a rhubarb plant. And you can use it for your stocks and your soups and stews. So I'm quite excited about that. I love um, vegetables and flowers that are perennials. It's just one less thing for me to worry about. Same with rhubarb. I love my rhubarb, and I was quite excited to see that they had rhubarb seeds. Um, I like rub making rhubarb barbecue sauce and um, rhubarb jams and jellies, so this is going to be well used. Next, I have two, um, I have collards. I grew this last year. You can't go wrong with growing collards. I love them in my stir fries. Um, cooking it up with a little bit of bacon, oh, so good. So just another repurchase here. Now, squash. I would like to grow more squash this year. That is my goal. So I purchased a whole bunch of um, new varieties. So I have first mashed potatoes. <laughs> so cute. They're um, like little compact uh, vines. They're very white in color and um, they're just just a very nice variety. I thought I'd give it a try. Next, I have Sweet Mama. It produces three to four pound fruit. So another good one. Now I have two um, little scallopini types. So I have a total eclipse and a sunburst and they're just very fun. I like growing these types of squashes. I grew a pale, um, green color last year and these two are just so cute also next one is a sweet dumpling variety um it's 
just so pretty. I love the white with the black. Um, I just think it's just a stunning, stunning squash variety and I can't wait to grow it. Next up is a repurchase. This is a black Spanish round radish. I love, love radish. Um, I love growing radish, I love eating radishes, and this is a very winter hardy heirloom variety. So I will be starting these, um, direct sowing them very early in the spring and also come fall. Um, I ordered not that many peppers, um, but just a couple of varieties that I have, hot peppers. I have a paprika, that is a paprika, I want to make my own um, powdered paprika for um, seasoning and I also make some barbecue rubs and things. Um, so this is going to be great. Carolina Reaper and Trinidad Scorpio. I have grown these before and I love making hot sauce. I love making my own hot sauce and just um, red pepper jellies, like really hot pepper jellies for charcuterie boards, and this is exactly why I had to repurchase them. Ghost pepper is just a must in my garden. Next up, I have two cauliflowers. I have Skywalker and Amazing. I Last year was the first year I grew cauliflower, and I grew a cheddar variety, so it was very orange. Um, and, and it was so delicious. Now I have one Brussels sprout. I grew Brussels sprout last year and I love them, but I didn't grow enough. So I, when I saw this red ball variety, I thought that was so fun. So moving on to a couple of Asian greens and cabbages. So I saw this tiny wawasai um, or sui choy cabbage. Tightly packed interiors have sweet flavor and crisp texture. The heads grow only one pound from early spring to late summer planting. It is a 60 day variety. It is fast. It's cute. I cannot wait. I love Chinese cabbage. I grow Napa cabbage and Chinese cabbage every year. This year I am growing some to make kimchi with, but I think that would just be really fun to keep for stir fries. Um, speaking of stir fries, I have quite a few that I will be growing um, their Asian greens for my stir fries. One is these two are pop choy varieties. I have a jade spring and then a mai ching variety as well. Love them. They're just very tender and crunchy and sweet. And when stir fried with some sesame oil, it's just a blast. I also have two mustard varieties as well. I love growing mustard. It is not um, typically found in most grocery stores, not where I live anyway. So I love growing these. I like using them for salads and my stir fries and it is just so, so good for you. They are um, winter hardy as well. So I can, I'll be planting these. Next up we have Renee's garden seeds. Now this seed company I discovered accidentally while visiting a local greenhouse and I am glad that I did because I fell in love with the just the sheer illustrations on the packaging itself is beautiful um, and also the information the amount of information you get in the back is insane it gives you step by step all the information you need to get started um, for someone who's just starting out, I think, yeah, this is a good company to go with. First up, I have this Trombetta Italian Summer Squash. I purchased seedlings um, last year and they, I purchased two seedlings. One didn't make it, sadly, but it was a blessing in disguise because that one plant that did survive by the end of summer had taken over half my garden. It took over three garden beds and produced some of the biggest squashes I've ever seen in my life. I still have three squashes um, downstairs in the cold room and the rest are in my freezer and we will be eating them until we get more in the summer. So next we have some 
heirloom bush bean varieties. There's a tricolor and then a provider bush bean. The provider ones I have grown before. They've done really well for me. The trio bush bean is just very fun um, to have all those colors and um, you can never have enough bush beans in your garden. Next up, I have two different eggplant varieties. There is an Italian trio eggplant and a Violetta uh, Lunga eggplant variety. Now, I love eggplants. I love um, eggplants that are deep fried. There's, or um, in stir fries or in pastas. And, but this year I would like to pickle some. So um, that's my goal into getting these eggplant different varieties because I would like to test out some, some different recipes with eggplant. I have a Easter egg radish. I love growing radishes and when I saw this uh, rainbow radish variety I just had to get it and as well as this purple top turnip. Um, just look how stunning it is just the the picture itself. Um, so it is it's set to be handsome fast growing and productive turnips with fine mild flavor and crunchy texture. Also, so this is what I'm probably the most excited for, this heirloom icebox watermelon um, doll babies variety. It is an heirloom watermelon and just so cute. It's a mix of small sweet melons with crisp pinky red or yellow flesh. So you won't know what you have until you open up the watermelons and see what you what color you have inside which i think is just very fun i have two broccolis broccolis did very well for me last year it was quite a surprise broccolis have never done well in my garden it has always bolted but the um, variety i used last year was the all season blend so that's a repurchase uh, but I also wanted to do this Bravado um, F1 main crop variety and just see how that does for me this year. Um, it does say that it yields really large heads. So uh, with multiple offshoots, so I'm excited about that. Um, now I have a couple of flowers. This year I'm growing a lot more flowers than I did last year. Last year I mainly focused on my tomatoes um tomatoes onions carrots um things like that but this year i think i'm going to be growing a lot more flowers so um this a double butterfly cosmo i love cosmos this rose bonbon double um double butterfly cosmo just caught my eye it's extra fancy frilled double blossoms in a rich romantic rose non-stop bloomer so yeah, the butterflies are going to go crazy. I have a French perfume lavender. It is a container variety. I am going to be starting these inside um, and then I will transplant them in little garden containers all around my garden. Um, it is supposed to, it is in a, uh, um, a perennial. So um, I'm going to have to bring those containers in and overwinter it and Next up, I have two Nashtarsum varieties. Um, there's a Whirly Bird mix, which um, comes in very um, different colors and shades. So there's Cherry Rose, Creamy Yellow, Soft Peach, Tangerine, Mahogany, Scarlet, and Rich Gold. Um, so that is the Whirly mix. And then I have a Moonlight Climbing variety and it just comes in this stunning primrose color. It looks like it might have some stripes of yellow, so I'm excited for that. Now, next up, I have some cabbages. So I have two cabbage. I have a Napa cabbage, which is a purple variety. I've never grown a purple Napa cabbage before, so I'm quite excited for that. And this pixie baby cabbage variety it is so tiny 
so small. It is space saving and early mature and compact head. I wanna see how long this will take. Oh, this is a 60 day variety. So it's a 60 day variety, um, it's a small. So if you have a container or just not enough space, um, these tiny, these pixie varieties will, will be a great addition to your garden. Um, so this, these two are a repurchase or all these actually are repurchases. So I have a long lasting spinach, which I grew last spring and it was delicious. Wish I had done a fall planting of it. Honestly, by the end of fall, I had so much going on that I did not get to do a um, fall planting, but this year I will. Mars Landing Kale. This kale is, it was something special. It looks so stunning in your garden. It was definitely one of the most prettiest kale varieties I've grown thus far. And um, I think this is going to be a regular in my garden for a while. So this Italian kale and bright light, um, bright lights char, um, also is a repurchase. I love kale. I love um, putting in my smoothies. I make green powder with it. Um, this kale variety had done so so well for me that I had to buy it again. It almost became a tree. Um, I tried to overwinter it. I did cover it up with some mulch to see if it'll come back. But in case it doesn't, I have seeds and I will be starting them. Bright Lights Swiss Chard. Swiss Chard last year was just phenomenal for me. It grew so well and I had the biggest Swiss Chard that I've ever had and it was um, this packet that I used so I had to repurchase it. Now, last but not least, I did purchase uh, from another local seed company. It is called Stokes. There's just two seeds um, and um, mainly because this hybrid plum tomato variety, my girlfriend grew these last year and she did not stop raving about them. It is a San Marzano variety and it did really, really well for her. So I just had to give it a try myself. Um, and as well as this uh, hybrid carrot variety called Envy. It is a jumbo variety um, growing as large as 12 inches. So I am excited to grow these and add it to my carrot collection. And um, yeah, last but not least again, I have this sunflower variety. I just got, I've been searching for this teddy bear variety for a while and I couldn't get my hands on it. So I'm excited when I saw that Burpee had these this year. I didn't see them last year. Um, so I had to get two packages and I'm just going to scatter it all around the property and have the most beautiful fluffy um, heads of sunflower. So that concludes our seed haul for 2023. I wanted to quickly show you how I store my seeds as well. Um, I store them in photo cases that I purchased from Michaels. From what I remember, they were quite cost effective. Um, they were about $25 per case. Amazon has them as well, but um, I found Michaels to be a little bit more um, cost effective. If you want a um, in-depth video, I can definitely do that. Just leave a comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you're like starting seeds or um, growing different varieties, I would love to know what you're growing, what varieties. So leave me a comment. And until next time, bye.